Hey everyone, it's Dale from the WebHub class again, and today I wanted to talk some advanced uh, structure issues involving Bootstrap and your Bootstrap site. Uh, namely, I'm going to show you how to add a Jumbotron and some additional uh, headers underneath it, which you see in a lot of professional sites nowadays that are using Bootstrap. It's kind of one of the identifiable things that it's a Bootstrap site. So here on the Bootstrap page, if you go to the Getting Started section, and you remember we came here to download Bootstrap initially and then to also get the source code. So this is where you started with your basic template. But there are uh, there are a number of other things here that you can also add. Uh, for instance, I'm going to add this Jumbotron right here. So feel free to go through all this and look at these and see uh, if there are anything here that you would like. Um, I'm going to show you a carousel in another video. But let's just, uh, let's go to this Jumbotron, and this is what it'll look like. This is the Jumbotron here, and then you have these three heading sections right here that you can add. So if you right-click and go to View Page Source, it will bring up this, and you can then go in, and once you understand the code, uh, you can find the Jumbotron section. So it's right here, Main Jumbotron. Uh, and I would go all the way down. You'll notice it's opening several different divs. So I'd want to copy and paste all of this um, if I want those heading sections. So again, this is just a grid. Um, it's set up the three columns of four. If I didn't want those, I would just copy until uh, this right here. And that would give me just that huge jumbotron across the top. But I actually do want those headings. So I'm going to copy that code. And I'm going to go into my index.html, and one thing you want to be really careful, you don't want to uh, paste it into the container div that you've already started. You want this to go outside of that because it won't uh, conform with them, or there may be issues with that. So if I just save, um, now that I've pasted it, this is what my site, my really ugly site, again, just to show you a hodgepodge of different uh, customization levels. If I do a refresh, now I have this Jumbotron up at the top, and then I have these three heading sections right here. So already you can kind of see how this looks much more professional than anything I've done. Also pay attention that because I've already labeled some custom CSS, I made H1s red and I made the background color red, it is still reading that. So your custom CSS is uh, still in play here. So now if I wanted to go in here and change this to hiking across Texas and I can change this content to say um, my name is Dale Blassingham and I am on a quest to visit every state park in Texas I'll bring you my favorite hiking trails along the way. So now let me save that. And you can see this has changed. We have this learn more button here. So if you go into the code, you can see um, you can change this to anything you want and just add the link. Um, you just need to tell it where to go. So um, uh, you would add an href around that. Um, I'm just going to take that out because I don't necessarily need that. So be careful with uh, your code there and make sure you're deleting the right things. But I'm going to go ahead and save this now. And the learn more button is gone and now I have this big jumbotron. Now if you had a specific area you were wanting them to go to, um, you would want that button. You could change the wording in it and you could go ahead and link to something else. And then now here I could go in and change each one of these headings and make them unique content. I could possibly have a favorite trails. I could have a view my slideshows and um, look at a map or something like that. Have some content here, have some content here, have some content here, and then link out to the other pages. Okay, so that's simple adding a Jumbotron to your Bootstrap site.